that I work. Work, girl. <laughs> Welcome back. Glad to see you again. Today we're going to do a little bit more of Bit of Beauty, staying in my Charlotte Tilbury phase. We're going to do an almost full face of Charlotte Tilbury, part two. I have another two quads that are two of my favorites that I want to feature. So let's get started with beating a little bit of foundation and base on my face. Next one's for the ladies. How many times have you gals been late for a high-powered business meeting only to realize you're not wearing makeup? That's every woman's nightmare. That's why I invented this revolutionary makeup gun. It's for the woman who only has four-fifths of a second to get ready. Close your eyes, Marge. And now you're ready for a night on the town. <gasps> Homer, you've got it set on whore. And voila. <gasps> Just kidding. Basically, I did everything to my face I did in the last Charlotte Tilbury video. I will leave that card here, information card, I'll leave a link up there to the video, the first video with the Charlotte Tilbury so you can just follow everything I use from the uh, flawless filter, how I use that as a foundation, the different airbrush powders I use from Charlotte Tilbury, her um, uh, cream uh, blush and her um, uh, powder blush. Basically. Everything I did before, I've done faces exactly like it was. Okay, the two quads we're featuring today, these are a little bit of confusion from the beginning from me. I always had the original Rebel I love. Everybody that knows me knows I love a good gray, smoking gray or black. My favorite eyeshadow of all time is I love wearing a deep purple. And then after that, blues and greens. Love, love, love. Okay, I had this Rebel here, the dark one. You see that. And then I heard she came out with, it was maybe about six months ago, she came out with a new like uh, three or four quads and one was called something uh, Green Lights or something like that. And they were, and I heard it was the old rebel quad that she just gave a new name so it's like oh, i have the rebel quad but every time i saw it on the internet or i saw pictures of other people on youtube with the quad it looked a little bit lighter than mine so finally they had a rebel that looked different than mine at the small little sephora it's more inside it's not a big sephora store it's like a shop in shop where I have uh, here in Munich, the so only Sephora we have, and unfortunately they are not always fully supplied. And then I understood what they meant. She had the original Rebel with the dark green, and then she came out with a new Rebel with the lighter green. This is it now, see? And when she came out with that other release, she called it something green shimmer lights or everything. So both of these quads, I have, I uh, see if I can get this to focus on the camera. Both of them are called Rebel. But I was so happy that for some reason they restocked the new Rebel in my Sephora that I could see the difference and see that they were Verkley, they were Verkley, Verkley, I'm mixing English and German words, but they were um, actually different greens. And I'm glad I have both of them now because actually with each one of them, I can get great looks, but them together, oh my God, talking about an eight shade palette. They accent each other and we're gonna play with them together. Just got my little green romper on here and we are ready to go. Okay, we're gonna start with Miss Old Rebel. I hate to call her that. Miss Old Rebel, the darker Rebel. I, I, I can't even describe how much I love these colors. Um, we're gonna go in with my Wayne Goss number 20 is one of my smaller brushes. 
Oh, you know what? Before I start on the eyes, uh, on the quads, I did tell you if you follow the other uh, other video from the Charlotte Tilbury video, what I did before. I tried the new Refer Foundation Brush number 24. And after the video, I forgot to talk about it. I explained to you the other foundation brushes that I have, how I use them. I am now in love with this brush. And like I said, I just bought this one to um, further uh, expand my travel kit. But now girlfriend is going to have to, I probably am not going to just buy another one. I'm going to buy two of them. Because I'm really bad with, uh, uh, or laxy daisy with washing my brushes. And then I always have a brush that is not full of foundation. I'm going to have to give me two more of these. I love them. It's the perfect size. It's small. It's a little bit flat here. It's fluffy enough that I'm going to work it in round like this, but then a little bit flat here. Then when you're going around the eyebrow, a little bit under the eye, on the side of the nose, loving, loving, loving. And and another update I want to give you is my technique of under my eyes. Been loving the technique. I am still using it over moisturizing under my eyes using the hourglass eye primer under my eyes but one thing i did notice the very first time i used it in that video when i was doing the gucci makeup and the first time i introduced it the first time i tried it for myself i used one of my favorite uh concealers that i a little bit used as a color corrector the hourglass topaz not that the hourglass topaz is dry but the formula is a little bit thicker and it did not let itself blend out over the primer good enough. Either I have been using the technique without a color corrector or on days when I'm like, okay, you had enough sleep, you're okay, then I just use my Tarte Creaseless and it's fine. On other days, like today, when I need a little bit color correction, I've been going in with my Pat McGrath LM12. It has a little bit of a peachy color also to it. Very, very creamy. And that's what I've been using as a color correct. And then my Tarte Creaseless 36B on top of it. So that has been my routine. I've been loving the routine. I still been doing it. Every time I put on concealer, it lasts. I don't have to set with powder. I don't have to bake. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the update on the refer brush. Foundation brush 24. Mwah. Love, love, love. We'll be ordering another two. Maybe girlfriend will even we'll order three of them. And my under eye concealer routine with the primer has been working and I have been loving it. Okay, let's get into these Rebels. We're starting on with the, like I said, the older Rebel, which I've had the longest and I love, love, love. I am going to start out with my Wayne Gauze number 20. I love this brush because it's a little bit rounded, a little bit smaller. It helps me really get into the placement of my crease. We're going to start with the upper, a little bit brighter green color here. And we're just going to form my crease with it. So let's get started with this. Wait a second. I have my uh, new uh, uh, Sonia G. I almost want to say Charlotte Tilbury. My Sonia G, her micro cloth that came with the little travel uh, kiyaki brush set. Um, I have that here because what did I tell you before? Girlfriend doesn't clean her brushes enough. So let's make sure I don't have any extra colors on this brush. Let's use that to clean it up. And let's get started going in there. Like I said, these Charlotte Tilbury quads, they pack a punch. So I'm going to go in just a little bit, tapping it there. And let's see what we can do. Again, I'm just making a rainbow form in my crease and using small circular muscles, uh, circular muscles, using small circular motions and just blending that out. This brush by Wayne Gloss is perfect for that. I would see by other YouTube channels, a lot of comments down below. People ask, yeah, I have really hooded eyes. What, what brushes do I use? I would say my favorite brushes for very hooded eyes would be the Sonia G Sky Set, her eye Sky Set. She has a lot of the similar um, forms of brushes from her original eye set, but they're a lot smaller and compacter. And I like using them a lot. 
because I have a little bit half hooded eye. And then Wayne Gauze is about four brushes I'm gonna use here. I will tell you when I'm using them that I feel like the best when you have a little bit more meat and flesh and uh, skin around your eyes that you need to get in there and work. And like I said, one of the best ones I love starting out that I, when I'm, especially when I'm working with a bright color, that I just wanna get it precisely where I want it. And that's the Wayne Gauze number 20. We're still working in there and working this up. Always adding a little bit more intensity. First in a rainbow movement and then you use small circular motions. Getting that little bit of outer corner of your eye and then going really under that bone of your crease. I believe I have the color intensity that I want. I'm gonna go in my going Wayne Goss number 16. This is a wider brush, but I love the blendness. Again, we're gonna clean this up. And all I'm gonna do is use this to diffuse this all above my crease, just that I have a soft line here. Just in small motions, just to diffuse it a little bit. Okay, I think that's a good base. Now I'm gonna go in there and I am going to cut my crease. Going in with my favorite uh, Surat. Going in with my favorite Surat concealer brush. And we're gonna go again with the Hourglass eye primer. And I'm just gonna cut the crease a little bit because I wanna bring it another deeper green. And I want a very solid distinctive line between the screens. Let's cut. And I don't know if you guys have watched other videos where I've cut my crease. I have a little bit of trick that I learned from Miss Desi Perkins. When you cut your crease, I don't like to follow in a rainbow directly into the point of my eye. I kind of raise the line a little bit because I have a little bit of a hooded eye. It helps open your eye. So instead of cutting the crease down into the corner, you see how I take the line a little bit straighter that is a little bit over. And I love working with this hourglass primer because it's almost clear. You just get such a soft descent cut. Just going in there again with my Wayne Gauze number 20 without adding any more green on it. That first green color. Just to make sure everything's good in there. Okay guys, now over my cut uh, crease area, I'm going to go in with the Sonia G, my Builder Pro. I love this because I've said before how tapered it is, how small it is. I can go in there with the point and it's so flat, you can pack color on there intensively. So we're gonna go in with this lower, I wouldn't say glitter, but it's a little bit of shimmery, uh, medium olive green, one of my favorites. And we're gonna go in there and I do not need to take any of the intensity off because I want to make sure that's very intense packed on. And let's pack it on exactly where I cut the crease. Go back in with my Wayne Goss, a little small brush, the so number 20, with a little bit more on the first screen, that upper left hand corner in the quad. And I'm just going to blend that a little bit more right above that cut crease. Make sure I don't lose any of the intensity of that medium green. And I'm going to go back in my Wayne Goss number 16 and just blend it up again, diffuse it up. And that's the look I'm looking for because it's so intensive and with the shimmer and green. I'm not going to play with any darker colors in the outer corner of my eye or any kind of halo. It's one of my favorites. But what I am going to do, I'm going to go in with my uh, Sonia G Smudger 2. And we're going to create a little bit of that drama with the last lower left side, that darker green. I love a beautiful hunter green. 
and we're gonna go in that everything under my eye and smudge it out to get that drama. And just to smudge it out a little bit more, we're gonna go in with the first green, also with my Wayne Goss number 20, and just diffuse that a little bit. So make a little bit small circles going upward, just so it's not so intense. We're getting there. We're gonna go with my other Sonia G smudger brush. This is very small. Um, I'm losing pearls. Collect my pearls. My pearls are falling out here. Okay, and the one color we haven't played with yet is the highlighter, the very first color. We're just gonna go in there, define around the brow area, clean up under the eye with that color also. And I'm going in with my Sonia G Flat Definer, also from her Sky, her uh, Sky um, Eye Brush uh, line. Like I said, a lot smaller brushes in this line for people that have small eyes and small eyelids. So let's just define a little bit of my eyebrow area. I'm gonna use this to highlight here under to clean this up just a little bit. And we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of inner corner highlight. just to blend everything in. I just go over everything with my beloved Wayne Goss number 16 and just diffuse everything. We're gonna go up here a little bit, here a little bit, make sure here in the inner corner. I don't really like to find lines. I like everything to look very soft and smoky. So I am a blending hoe. I like to blend. And just like to blend everything in and diffuse everything. And there you guys, this is one of my first looks from the older version of the Rebel. Of course, I have to put a little bit of mascara and everything on after I finish the second eye and then we'll be finished. Okay guys, now we're gonna go into the new Rebel Yell. Huh? It's now called Green Shimmer Lights. I'm not sure. But we're going to go in again with my beloved Wayne Goss number 20. And we're going to start with the last color here. It's a little bit more green brown taupe color. And this one I'm going to use to carve out my crease. Just doing a nice rainbow in here. Not really concentrating on the corner, outer corner of my eye. Just a solid rainbow line. Just want to give a little bit of definition and then now with circular motions. Just want to give a little bit of definition into bone and crease under my eye. Taking it out a little bit further here. It's a little bit more winged out look. intensity right here just tapping it in there rainbow motion windshiver motion and we're going to go in with mr wayne goss with miss number 16 and we're just going to blend that up to diffuse it a little bit and make sure i'm going way out here a good base to start on and you guys know I love me a halo look so we're gonna go again in with my favorite Surat concealer brush a little bit of an hourglass eye primer and I'm gonna cut my entire crease not just the inner portion like I did on this side but my entire crease to get a really crisp line from the color that I laid into my crease A 
Again, I'm not going directly into my corner. Just make it a little space higher than the corner of my eye. Go in a straight line here on the inside. Okay, I'm just going to hit with a little bit of the original brown color. It's right above this line and make sure it stays dark and defined. And then going in again with the Wayne Goss and just making sure it's blended upwards well. Let's go in now with the halo eye. Let's go in. We're gonna go in with my uh, Sonia G. I love this one. I'm packing on in the corner. It's a soft shader, undyed brush, also from her blue sky. I love working with this in the inner corner and outer corner of my eye. Like I said, from her sky eye set. It's a little bit smaller if you have a little bit hooded eye or smaller eye space. Eyelid space to work with is perfect. So we are going to go in. I'm going to make a different kind of halo. I'm going to make a halo that I'm going to go in with this color because this color and this color are very similar. So I'm going to go in with this one is a little bit lighter in the inner part of my eye lid and this on the outer part of my eyelid. And then we're going to use this gold in the center of the, the halo. So like I said, I'm starting with this color here in the inner. And I love this because the point on this brush, I don't know if you guys can see that, you can really like hug it in to those folds in your eyes to get it really in there. And of course I have hair hanging in my eye, but we get that out of the way. Just clean that off of my micro faucet or micro faucet, as we say in German, cloth here. And then I'm going to go into this lower green one I showed you here, and that's going to be the outer corner of my eye. Still using my Sonia G uh, soft shader here, so I can pack that in. Again, using the tip of that brush, I can really get into the crease and lay that in there. Sure I connect this halo at the top. If you notice, I can use that point. You see how I'm just rolling it like this on my finger? That's how I get it right here in that smaller fold of my, I just basically roll it like this in my finger. It's one of the best little small brushes. Okay, we're just gonna go in with uh, Wayne Goss number 20 again with the, with the first brown color that I use and just blend this line a little bit more. And we're gonna blend everything out with the Wayne Goss number 16. Everything's blended. Let's make that halo and then accent in the middle. And let's go and pack that on with a Builder 3 from Sonia G. Make sure she's clean. And we're going in here with the gold up here. And I'm just gonna pack that on. And we're gonna put that in the middle to give me a little bit of golden accent. Gonna touch up going in with my soft shader again. I just put a little bit more accent on the first two greens. We always want to keep blending the second green. You have that blended good. I'm gonna go under my eyes with the very small. No, I'm going to use this one for Wayne Gold. No, this is actually my refer number three. I'm going to go under my eyes with the very first brown color, the last color in the quad. I'll show it to you. Last color in the quad here. But we can just get a little bit of definition under the eye. Okay, 
Hey guys, I'm finished with my two looks. I'll be right back. Going to do all the last finishing touches and I'll see you in a minute. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. My face is complete. I went in with my favorite mascara combination. You guys know me. Pat McGrath Labs, first layer dark star, second layer of fetish eyes. And went in with my beloved, I always have to read this because this is so long, the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. And in with my airbrush, flawless finish in number one, a little bit under the eyes to highlight and buff, 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 buff with the airbrush flawless finish number two. Then I have my beloved iconic nude lip cheat lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury and one of my other favorite beloved items from her, the lipstick in Hepburn Honey. And you see my complete look here. We have the older, I don't want to, I don't want to say old, the longer on the earth, more mature, but doesn't mean she's bad. Rebel here. And the beautiful, more vibrant greens. And then I have on this side, the newer Rebel version, with more golden greens, taupe and brown greens. I think I created two great looks. I will already let you on a little secret. These are two of my favorite quads, but we're still gonna continue through all of the quads and almost full face of Charlotte Tilbury because I really do want to reevaluate all of them and get to a ranking of all my favorite Charlotte Tilbury quads. So I'll give you guys another look. and you let me know what you think. So, like I said again, I love my Refer new number 24 foundation brush. I am loving the technique of using a lot of moisture, moisturizer under my eyes with a primer and a little bit of color correction. I'm leaning to more towards the Pat McGrath LM12 and then my beloved Tarte Creaseless in 36B to give me that flawless under eye, non creasing, long lasting concealer look without having to set it, without having to bake it. Only go afterwards with a little bit of highlighting powder right in this little corner here, but where the fine lines are here, I have absolutely no powder. So you guys, thanks for stopping by with me again for a little bit of beauty. I hope you decide to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you really did like it. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll know when all my other videos pop up. I would really appreciate it if you take a little time to give me a little comment down in the comments and pop over to my Instagram pages to say hi. Thanks a lot. Love you all. Bye.